To be honest, I actually love traffic and everything that comes with it. So, <laughs> so our objective is to keep traffic uh, moving and flowing. You know, sometimes it's just it's about calming things down a bit. Um, and you know, during rush hour periods, uh, everyone is going to be up and down in their emotions, right? So, I don't think there's a, like a really bad intersection. I think Toronto is it's diverse in every which way. There are very unique intersections that come with its own challenges, and that just could be the layout of it. And our job is to kind of work with signal and enhance it as much as we can. Sometimes that might mean holding vehicles even on a green light, only because we're preventing something, uh, another issue, which is blocking the box, right? So we don't want to just jam cars for no reason. We're there, it's a very calculated measure on, uh, you know, when cars are we're sending cars, and that's usually with the lights. One of the biggest uh, challenges for us as traffic agents is there's a level of uh, non-compliance sometimes and you know our job is to keep people moving safely and effectively and from time to time we do have uh, situations where motorists, even cyclists or even pedestrians will totally disregard the agent and uh, that is one of our biggest challenges. Our job and our application is to help uh, encourage drivers to follow those that signage, right? So we would be in the middle of the intersections and if a vehicle is not acknowledging that the, you can't go as straight, we'll turn the car and allow them to, to see that, oh, they can't go straight, right? Once we are able to keep the road clear essentially for TTC, they're able to flow much faster. There's obviously go, stop, turn. Uh, aside from that, it's, it's, it's honestly just common sense uh, hand signals that we provide so everybody is on the same page, that's all. And one of the challenges is that we, we are un, it's the unknown driver behavior. So like one of our jobs is to forecast a little bit. There is a level of risk being in the intersections uh, because we are in such confined spaces. You know, our workspace is it's, it's very tight. We, we have to be on, on point the whole time. So to be honest, uh, we do get a lot of positive feedback from drivers. Uh, sometimes those honks are thumbs up, right? Uh, actually, most times they are, uh, and they do appreciate what we're doing out here. You know, uh, I think we, we all work together with uh, everyone in the city. Uh, our program and our job and our ability to be much more effective uh, to mitigate uh, our congestion here in the city.